is up guys welcome back to the channel I hope you guys are doing well so I just got back from the gym but I'm going to play my gym footage right now all right so I figured I'd do a quick little voiceover of this kind of short little workout because I've not done it in a while I feel like I haven't talked to you guys about my workouts in a while uh, since I get injured I'm still not allowed to do anything overhead I'm allowed to hold a barbell on my back as you guys can see as I'm doing reverse lunges but nothing overhead still so a lot of intensity on the legs. So I've been practicing my lunges because your girl isn't that great at lunges. So what I did here was just five sets of 10, so five on each side, and then increasing in weight. And then I went and did a wad. I mean, this was a really quick workout. I didn't show you guys like all my exercises for like my arm and things like that. Like that, I find it gets boring. So I f figured I'd show you guys my wad. So my wad is with a 20 pound weighted vest because I gotta make things more challenging. As you guys can see, I have dumbbells in my hand. I cannot go heavy in my dumbbells still. That's only 15 pounds for me. Usually I can probably go up to like 35 pounds, if not more. So my workouts are still low weight, but trying to keep the intensity high. So this workout, I will write it down below, but it was pretty fun, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. You can do it with the vest, you can do it without a vest. So what I did was nine goblet squats, seven sit-ups, and then five box step-ups with dumbbells in my hand. And so the workout was you had to do three rounds of the squats, the sit-ups, and the box step-ups, and then do that three times, but in between each three rounds, like it was three rounds, and then you had to do a 24 calorie bike, and then another round, 24 calorie bike and then your third round so it was like three of three I, I'm not sure if I'm making that clear at all but that's what I did it was good it was intense it was hard with the weight of vest especially doing sit-ups it feels like you're like in a life jacket and you're drowning almost because it's like cutting off your breathing kind of thing like that you know when life jackets like really hit up high that's what it was doing so pretty much that's what my workout was the intensity, the weights are still really low for me, but that's okay. I, I'm I'm slowly getting there. I'm eventually going to get back, hopefully get back to more gymnastic stuff because your girl really, really misses that. I really, really miss working on my skills. And so this is what today's workout was. Nothing too crazy, nothing too wild, but still keeping the intensity high. I've been doing a lot of running, especially with the vest. Just trying to make things a little bit harder. The vest does make it a little bit harder, which is good, especially when I can't carry loads of weight. So when I can carry some weight and then some weight in the vest, it makes everything better. So that is what my workout was. All right, so we are back from the gym and I'm currently making breakfast. We're making like vegan egg McMuffins kind of thing. I got my vegan bacon and then I got some tofu that we're cooking up and then our English muffins here. So I'm currently cooking those on the pan right now. David's in the background. He's not doing 100% right now. We've had both had like a really hard week kind of thing. Uh, I've had intense migraines all week for some reason and they're finally letting up now and he's I has like issues it. with his tooth. He's having a lot of tooth pain. So we've just been a really bad kind of thing. So yeah. Anyway, so we're gonna cook breakfast, but today we're going to look at houses, which is really exciting. Dave and I started the process. We've looked at two houses already, one that we really, really like and we really, really love. And we're gonna look at two more today, but I think we're pretty set on one of them. But I'm excited. It's gonna be fun. So yeah, let's get to cooking and enjoying the day. This is my little special egg McMuffin that I do, so I want David to try. How's it taste? Mm. It's good, eh? Mm -hmm. Does it taste like an egg McMuffin? Mm. The texture of the tofu is very similar to egg, eh? Yeah. Awesome. Yes. High five. Okay, so we're getting ready. We're gonna walk over because the houses are actually really close to where our apartment is, which is 
oddly funny that we're looking at today. We're just looking at two. Um, but I'm excited. Me too. You're excited? Yeah. So we'll see how it goes. We're gonna walk over because they're close. Okay, so we are back home now. I actually didn't end up showing the houses because as soon as I got there, like these are people's houses yeah. and I didn't feel like showing their house, I guess. Mm -hmm. Even though their house, like there's pictures online, I still felt kind of weird showing like yeah. their personal stuff. Like that's, that's just weird. Um, and they didn't really ask for that, I guess. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so we looked at two houses, one for sure, or one possibly and one like hell no. Yeah. So the first one we went was actually really nice. It was a bungalow, really enjoyed it. It's very well maintained, re really well taken care of and everything. Yeah. Um, and it's like literally- Down the road. Just down the road. Yeah, I liked it. You liked it? Yeah, honestly, I really did. It was did. pretty decent. Like it's a bit in the higher part of our price range. Yeah. Which I don't know, there's some things that I would like to change about the house, but mm -hmm. nothing that needs to be changed right away, I guess. No. It's not bad though. They really like lime green, which is a bit, yeah, whatever. Um, but it was actually quite nice. Mm -hmm. I did enjoy that house. The second house, oh my God. Yeah. Uh, that place was, no. No. It, <laughs> it, no. There was weed everywhere. It smelled like cigarette and weed in there. It just like. Disgusting. Ugh. I. The bones of the house are actually not that bad, mm -hmm. but the people did not maintain the house and when they leave, there's a lot more stuff for us to do and it's yeah. still high for, I think, what it's worth. Yeah. The way that, like, what, how much we have to invest in that house is, like, not worth yeah. it and it smells like weed, weed and cigarettes and so, like, mm -hmm. that's always, I feel like that odor always kind of stays with the house. Yeah, and the so. fact that we can get a new build for yeah. pretty much the same price. Yeah, I don't know if I explained clearly before, but we also did look at a couple other houses uh, that were new builds. Mm -hmm. um, I can put some video clips, I got some video clips of us touring it. One house is not fully done, but we really do like it. There's a couple things that we're like, mm, mm -hmm. not 100% sure on, but right now that one's in first place because yeah, we really do 100%. like it. And then the first one we saw today is mm -hmm. probably a contender. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that was interesting. Like, one house we were totally good with and really, really liked, and the next house we were like, ugh. Mm -hmm. It's, no. yeah. I mean, no, nothing against people who smoke or do whatever. I mean, I don't care, just but. Keep your, at least clean your house when you show people. Yeah, <laughs> with having chunks of weed on the couch is, no. is not a good way no. to show people your house, <laughs> to say the least. Yep. I think we're gonna get ready to look at the new build, hopefully. It's, still good um mm -hmm. let's hope but yeah okay guys we are in the car we are going to meet up with my mother for supper but oh these glasses are obnoxious <laughs> but uh we just oh my god <laughs> so some things went down about the house so we uh the house that we guys were telling you about before our new build someone just what is that it's a car <laughs> anyways so the house that we were looking at, uh, the new build that we obviously didn't show you guys, but we were talking about before. Uh, so we drove by and we saw that the real estate agent was there with people. So we were like, oh no, this isn't good because this is a really nice house, like really nice. And so we called the real estate agent and said we want to do a second look and put an offer on the house. And he said that the people that he just showed the house to uh, want to take the house as well. So he's going to go back to the builder and see which one he prefers because we're gonna take the house kinda as is. We don't wanna add anything, whereas these people wanna add stuff to the house. So yeah, I don't know. I'm a little nervous. What we're trying to think right now is just, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be, and if we're meant to have this house, then we're meant to have this house kind of thing like that. So that's what we're kinda going with kind of thing. I don't know. We're both a little nervous right now, but we'll see how it goes. Hello. I'm currently scrubbing my stove. <laughs> this looks miserable. Anyways, I wanted to um, give you guys an update uh, on the house because we just received an update and if this is any indication of how it went... <laughs> then you guys know. So we got a call from the real estate agent and it's not bad, but it's not looking good in our favor. Um, David's back there, by the way. 
Uh, so, looking at the house, I don't know if you guys really care or not, but anyways, we talked to the real estate agent and we officially have to go and put an offer in. Okay, so I have Blondie here, she's gonna help me explain, but I feel like I didn't really explain this part properly when I was talking about this the difference between it looked like us not getting the house compared to the other people. The other people actually could put down more money than we could. They were able like to put down a higher bid than we could. So unfortunately it it's not working out for us. So I felt like I needed to be a bit more clear. So yeah, I just needed to put this in here because I felt like it wasn't super, super clear. We'll see. It's a bit frustrating. I don't know if I've talked about this, but the people are a bit older and look like they don't need a house, especially a two-story house. Like they should be moving into like kind of something smaller. I mean, maybe this is smaller. I don't know. It's just a bit frustrating, but if it doesn't work out, it wasn't meant to be, I guess. And we can find another house. <laughs> we might just be homeless for a little bit. We'll find a house that we really love and truly love. So I'm gonna just keep scrubbing this dirty stove, getting the good old stuff that's been encrusted on. It's really frustrating me. I've like literally been at this for like two hours. Not really, but kinda. Um, so I'm actually gonna end off the video here kind of like a cliffhanger. We're gonna see what happens with the house, I guess, if you guys are even interested. I have no idea. Uh, let me know down below if you are. Um, if you guys have any home buying tips, let me know down below. Uh, but yeah, this is a bit of a cliffhanger, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a bit random and weird. Uh, if you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. It really does help the channel, so if you're watching this, please give it a thumbs up, uh, or anything, I guess, and leave a comment down below if you want, and don't forget to subscribe, and yeah, don't forget to be unstoppable, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Summer days burn me out, love just brings me down. Go inside like winter leaves, I slowly leave the ground. Hey, you come back, I wanna give you a chance. Love me like you used to, so we can learn again. The skin is getting round, baby.